Professor who was like teaching them kids and everything, and she had the donkey. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Anything, yo, should she be fired? No. Why? You can't fire a woman because of her curve pills. She was blessed with that. So why are you gonna let her go because she has more curve pills than average teachers and uh, professors in the college? That's discrimination. So they probably should. So if th if there was a chick who was there. Or a female, let me see. That's just like having a SpongeBob professor compared to her. And you, they don't fire her because she don't have a curve exactly. field. I hear you. I feel the same way too. Hey, listen, man. If you look good and everything, you know I'm saying, yo, and it invites more. You have to show what God gave you. Maybe the students come there and maybe you get more students signed up for that class. Maybe they'll learn more. There you go. That's what, that's what I feel. I bet that's you will. You'll be sitting in there like... What what are we gonna learn today? That's what I feel. So what's, the, wait, what's the jingle of the bells for? It's, it felt like it was a good thing to do. Uh, well, no, how do you jingle them? <laughs> jingle them. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, I don't like to revisit stuff, but and this is just saying it's not, has nothing to do with um, the college professor. But we got to get off of this and like really totally bury it. Kevin Hart. Ke Kevin Hart. Because the Oscars are coming up. I don't know when, but the Oscars are coming up. And it's like, yo, they got to leave Kevin Hart alone. I don't care if it's like bloggers. I don't care if it's like other podcasters. I don't care if it's, if it's uh, websites. I don't, I don't care if it's TMZ. I don't like TMZ, just so you know. You don't? I don't like TMZ. Why? I don't like TMZ. Why? And then, cause I'm, I think that TMZ reports on things that they don't really understand much about. I like Van Lathan. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I don't, Van Lathan is the black guy on TMZ. Um, I like the, the uh, dread. No, no, no. I like him too. I'm like somewhat, I like him, but he's with Harvey. Um, I like the girl with the. Um, she has a show on BET now. I forget her name, but I like Van Lathan. I like her because they understand the culture. Nathan, right? But why don't you work for TMZ? I would destroy TMZ. I would. I would probably be in the back burning up all like the files and stuff like that. I, I probably would destroy TMZ. I probably would. You got some serious issues right there. I do. I do. Oh, oh I see. I do. And should I, I watch myself? Of, listen, you should. You should. <laughs> listen, I know a lot of people in anything, they like to try to, you know what I'm saying, like be friends with people because they think, like, yeah, you know what, um, it might uh, benefit me later on and, you know what I'm saying, they might like give me a job later on. Where I don't give a damn about that shit. Well, I don't give a damn about that because I'm looking for a nice job. All right, well, you probably should like get the hell away from me. <laughs> anything, right? oh, because shit. I don't give a damn about no TMZ. I don't give a damn about Steve Harvey. I don't give a damn about none of them. Damn, dude, what do you give a damn about? Not much. Not much. Life. Sometimes. <laughs> anything. Oof. But listen. I'm gonna, we're gonna go. To, we're gonna take. I'm gonna take you to a therapist. But listen. But listen. Kevin Hart. I think that Kevin Hart is being bullied a little bit. I agree. I think that, I, the, I, I fully I think agree. that the LBGT I, community I'm not is, getting into that word. I know you don't like to say it because you think it's a curse word. You think that if you say it, then they're gonna come for you too. No, and no. I know. I know I, I like I like them. I like them too. But I, I like think that them. they gotta chill. They gotta stop coming at everybody every I time like they them, say I love them. I won't I won't want to be my friend. I get you on that. They can dress me. I get you on that. But I'm just and saying my hair, my makeup. <laughs> I get you. But I'm just saying, you can't bully everybody. Every time somebody says something, you can't come after them. It's like, yeah, you're bullying the, you, the LPGT community. For them to be so rooted in the whole sensitivities of society today in America, they can't come after everybody every time they say something. That's bullying. And that's the very thing that they're fighting against, being bullied against. So it's like they got to chill. That's just what, that's what I feel. 
You know what I mean? I, I know a lot of people yeah. don't agree with me and anything, but that's just what it is. They always can to agree to disagree. You know what I mean? Mm. Yo, uh, let me ask you something. Um, you ever thought about being a stripper? Yeah. I know you did. You can, I can tell. I can tell. How can you tell? I don't know the blind hair. But the fuck that mean? <laughs> I'm just saying that you got blind. Oh, you put that, you put that, that, that thing back on there. Yeah. Huh? Hey, um, <laughs> so what would your name have been if you was a stripper? If you was a stripper? Sexy cookie. Sexy cookie. You just kept the name and just put a sexy in the front. Because I'm be sexy. I'm sexy now. Shit. I can be a stripper now. Let's get a pole. Well, wait. Um, let me go to pole dancing classes first. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't. Why? Please don't do that. I get a pole in here. Okay, I'm going to go to pole dancing classes. And I'm going to, I'm going to, hey, you make sure somebody follow me while I'm going there and record everything. I'm going to slide from the top to the bottom. Top to the bottom. Pole I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I have... I don't want to talk about it. Please, please don't. I don't want to talk about it. But... Anyway. <laughs> pole dancing classes, huh? Yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go with some nice outfit on, with some heels. You think your sweater looks better than mine, don't you, too? My sweater is... It's not. It's not. It's My not. sweater is people, way better than yours. People will vote on this and they will say... I hope they vote. Let's take a poll. I will put up a poll. Let's take a poll. Don't do this. Let's take a poll. Don't do this to yourself. Don't you do it to yourself. Because what is cute about your sweater? Everything. You that's see shit, me? That shit ugly. You see me? Only thing you did was pin, uh, pin everything uh, on it. Huh? 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 Don't nothing go. Pop. That's the That's the issue. That's, That's why it's so ugly. ugly. Yeah. Yeah, but mine's is ugly. So, come on, Cookie, don't do that. Man. I'm an elf. Do that. See my don't do see that. my hat. Don't see do that. Hat? My hat go on my. Let me ask you something. If, let me say, if you went to a party, if you went to a party, it was an ugly, uh, ugly sweater party. Yeah. And a guy had to come in the ugliest sweater, but he came in a nice sweater. Would that be, like, would you say, like, oh, you know what, you whack, you know what I'm saying? You no, I'm like, oh, you cute. You'd be like, you cute, right? And that ugly so sweater. what the hell is the deal breaker for you? What makes you say no to a guy? Okay, first of all, your teeth got to be right. <laughs> you cannot be missing no type of teeth at all. Because when you look at a man, you go from the, from the bottom of his feet to all the way up to the top. No holes in his socks? Hell no. No holes in his socks? Why would, why would you want a hole in your socks? Teeth gotta be nice. Okay, mine's not pearly white. Okay, mm -hmm. they're getting there. I use the right side and they're nice. baking soda, but, but, they, yeah. but they're straight. They're they together. Yes. Okay. I ain't missing a tooth mm -hmm. because I feel like if you have a job and have benefits, there's no reason why you can't go to the dentist and get your teeth right. Okay, I go with that. Now socks, you can get socks from Walmart. Okay. Why you can't get a pack of socks? Okay. I, uh, every nigga, do he have to, do every he... guy should have a crisp pair of white socks like they have white tees. Do he gotta be in shape? We can work on that because I wasn't in shape at one time. Okay, so he he don't have to be totally in. He ain't gotta be a bodybuilder. No, he ain't gotta be no bodybuilder. But I'm just saying, you, I, I wasn't in shape. He not. Smokey though. I I just smokey though. That's not oh. easy. Oh, I need easy. some of that. I need easy. some of that. That's, yeah. that's the good shit for the holidays. Yeah, can't that's go the, wrong with that. Spanish eggnog. Ding, 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 Mm. Alright, so you bring the Puerto Rican one, and mm. I'll get the black one, and mm. I'm going to mix it. Hey, do not make me go into Perth Amboy and go get some of that authentic okay. coquito. Okay, you go or get the mommy. coquito. Or mommy. Okay, papi, you go get the coquito, and I'm going to get the eggnog, and the hundred, the, uh, what is it? <laughs> the the, the Bacardi 151, and I'm going to mix it up. Ding, 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 ding. So that, that, no, 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 ding, 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 is what the Puerto Rican mommy's going to do in their kitchen. Well, I'm going to do it in the kitchen, together. and we're going to put it well, together. Pedro, when Pedro, you know, he get in the kitchen, he say, oye, mommy, hey, let me throw and this And I'm going to say, <laughs> this is how, this is how we do it. Hey, I'm anyway, we're going to see which one. We already know the Puerto Rican one got the outweigh the black one, but it we're is. still going. We're going, we're, it going is. we're going to taste it and see which ones is the best. Because they use the, the coconut milk and all that. Oh my God. I of, course they do. of course they do. Well, I'll, I'll take the rooster right now. Sure. sure. <laughs> your, your, your ornaments is not coming off that sweater. Hey, let me ask you this though. So back to back to the um the standards. 
So you remember back in the days and everything when like like uh, girls, you know, women, females used to say like, you know, what I'm saying like they would mess with like a drug dealer. Yeah. Why y'all don't mess with drug dealers no more? Because they played out. They're not played out. That's just a, you know what it is? First of all, wait, no, wait. Because you know why? Drug dealers ain't like they used to be no more. Because back in the day, they used to be on a block. Mm -hmm. And we used to see them on the block. You they used to them. run to the car. So tell me now. So, you don't see them no more. So where they at now? You don't see them no more. So you think they faking? They got, they got personal clients. <laughs> Do you think they still making the same money? No, nah, not like it used to be. Nah, like it used the blocks used, used to be hot back then. They the used to come with the booming system. Girls rock. No, they used to drive. Drugs buying cars back in the days. Yeah, they used to have an Audi. They, they would buy you a car. No, now they don't buy. I, I never had a drugs. I bought a lot. Of, I bought a lot of women cars back in the days. Damn, I should have been with Honda one Civic, boys. Honda Civics, and Honda Accords. Yo, Honda owe me money. How the hell do they owe you money? You know how many cars I bought for, from Honda? That was your stupidity. Nah, nah, nah. I, I, I made money off of that. If okay, I bought, so how if you I bought, forget? If I bought a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar car for Honda, you ain't paying. You bought a used one. You ain't buying no one. I never bought a used Honda. So who was making the payments? I was. You was I making the payment on every car you bought for a yeah. check. That was my job. It was a big time job. I had like to. That? It had to be. I'm oh. telling you. Yo, I would buy the car. Mm -hmm. And they, you know what I'm saying? I would put in an apartment, and they, you know what I'm saying? Yo, and that car was paid for, and they, she made the money back for that car. And they, you know what I'm saying? How the fuck she made the money? She, she was tricking? No. All she had to do was just do, just hold the house down. I made that money and mm -hmm. by using that house and that apartment and everything and that car. And then you Wait, said, can you talk about two this three? now? Well, I'm, it's over now. I can talk about You know, it. I don't know. All right. They like to bring stuff all up. Right, all right, Patrick. All right, let's, let's, all right, let's, let's get past that. that. And everything, but yo, you know what? On the flip side, dudes, dudes and they, you know what I'm saying, all right, let me, I talked about females and they with drug dealers, but dudes and they, why do dudes feel like it's okay to mess with the chicks that was hoes yesterday? What do you mean? What do you mean what I mean? It's like dudes, like, be marrying hoes now. Like, the chicks, I know Oh, so it's like they're marrying the strippers and turn to the housewives? There you go, we can go with that, we can go with that. But it's like a lot of guys who I know, and like they, like I look at a lot of guys who I know, who I grew up with, mm -hmm. and they, you they know, turned the whole to a housewife. They took hoes and anything, who chicks who I, I ran through. <laughs> they took chicks who I ran through, and they married them, and I feel like this damn. And then they I molded see, them. Like, you, you they started the mold, and then they finished it. Yeah, and then even you look at like a lot of celebrity guys, like a lot of rappers and stuff like that. They be like getting with like the chicks who. Write tell all books and everything, and they be marrying them. And stuff I, like I got a problem with that because my thing is, what are you telling? Why are you telling stuff? Snitching. Let's just like the Cardi B and the Offset thing. Like you, you had the hottest number one chick in the game, mm -hmm. and she was she. You you don't get no better. I think I think I think. Um... No, wait, pause. Let me finish. My thing was, you mess with somebody for what? For her to put you out there like that, like she was thirsty, she ruined. Look, now look, now you want to apologize publicly. You should have never did that. You should have never did that. Like you had, there was no reason for you to cheat on Cardi. No, no. She's I don't a bigger, understand. She's a bigger artist. She should have just rode your wave, rode the wave. They, I don't understand. The what was the purpose of you cheating on this woman? He definitely should have just rode. You the got wave. a beautiful daughter, a beautiful wife. Y'all making this money, so why would you get somebody who's irrelevant? Culture. That's that bullshit. I told you your shit was. I told you. Sure, be. Nah, sure. my nigga. <laughs> oh, you right. Take that sweater sort of back. Mm, sure. Oh, but you made it, so you can't take it back. <laughs> sure. Hmm. All I need is culture. <laughs> money. Last week you said money. M money. Yeah, that's my girl, Cardi, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Like, but yeah, that yeah, was he wrong. played himself. He played himself. And you know, what I don't like is that culture. Uh, culture. What's his name? What's the boy Offset. name? Offset. Offset. Well, that came on the stage, but Cardi was trying to, you know what I'm saying? She was trying to rock the house for the, for the rocking soul or rocking I, I whatever the hell. I relate to Cardi because it's I've like, been yo, in situations like that. Get up off that stage, man. She, she didn't the first chick who ever rocked that stage. Get up out of there, man. Don't be trying to stay still or shine, man. He's trying I'm to like, get his wife back. I don't care about that. Yo, don't say, bro, let me, yo, bro, let me tell you, come on home, bro. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to be back with you, bro. That's not the way to get your wife. That's not romantic. So well, how should he have said it? She got on your knee. You should have like left the cakes and the, 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 the rollouts off the stage. 
She got me a knee. You should have never did it. You should have not. Yeah. You should have never did it. That that was the first. Because there's no reason for you to do it. That's the first approach. Don't do it. There was no reason for you to do it. There's no reason. Yo. Number one, she's your wife. When you mess, she's your baby mother. And number three, she's the hottest chick in the game. So what are you cheating for? I don't get it. You don't. All of the things that you would mess with another chick for, she's there. She's it. You don't get no better than that. Like just as like Jay Z and Beyonce. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. Listen, man. I know well, she I can't might, compare the two, but I'm just saying. She might have a mouth on her, but it's like whatever. She's real. She's real. She just speaking how she feel. You can't, you can't knock that. No. Everybody got a past. I don't know. Maybe he smoked a lot of weed. Who knows? Maybe his brain burnt out. Oh, you smoke? I'm not used to. Yeah, let me ask something. What? They talking about like um, legalizing marijuana. I wish they would. <laughs> Why well, you, you want to smoke again, don't you? No, I would love to. So, if they legalize marijuana in New York, like for like recreational marijuana. But wait, how would that affect Jersey? Then I mean, I have to go to New York. Suppose they do it for Jersey too. Well, we need to talk to our governor then. Yeah, yeah. You're saying. But like, wait, how would that affect Murphy. the job, job wise? Would the employees still fire you? That's the thing. That's the question. Like, like let's, for a guy who drives a truck. No, I don't think I need to do it. He can't smoke. Not because, you know what I'm saying? Like, for someone who like handles children. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, 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 uh, daycare. They can't smoke. Nope. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. So it don't go across the board. So what is it for then? I don't know. For the big top, the, for the CEOs and CFOs. Yeah. To keep their mind focused and make that money. There you go. I need to be a CFO and a CEO. Then. Yep. Yep. Whatever you doing during the day, quit your job. No. Nope. Hey, speaking of that, I just learned something. What? A teacher said something in in, in school, and it just it, it made a light bulb go off of my head. She was asking the kids, do you know the difference between a job and a career? What's the, what's the difference? A job is you going just to make money. And a career is a job, a, a place of business that you love to go to and you excited to go to every day. I didn't know that. Did you quit? No, not yet. No, <laughs> I didn't quit yet. I got I to gotta have a backup plan before I do that dumb shit. Because then who, how am I going to take care of myself and my kids? I don't know that shit true, like that. True. I'm still going to have a job until Wait, I make a career. You got kids? Yeah, I too. You, you look like that and got kids? What the fuck you mean? You married. No, nah, unfortunately. Hey man, not listen. Hey, you listen. Are you married? If, if you want if you want just stop. Wait a minute. If you want if you want cookie, you you better find her. You better get this one. And it's hey, a real one. Hey, she fresh and new. And they didn't get that one. I'm telling I'm you, man. Be somebody. Trust hey. me. You heard? Hey man, listen. Yeah. What? Hey. Do you remember the King R and B thing that they got going on on the internet? Chris Brown. Chris. Number one is Chris Brown, and then I think number two would be Neo. Those are my one and two. Neo. What? I, I, I mean, I think Neo should be at least in the running. Then um, number three is Usher. No R Kelly. Oof. No R Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly in there, but Chris Brown is number one. I'm sorry. So, Jacquees was bumping his head when he said that he was No, the because King you got to put it in the universe to think like that. You have to think like that. You got to say you better than somebody. That's just like me. So, no, um. What? No Tyrese. I just told you my three. Well, four now, R. Kelly. No Bobby Brown. Woo! That right there. It's my prerogative. I do what I want to do. Did. It's my prerogative. Bobby, Bobby I do did. What I want to do because it was his prerogative. Yo, he did what the hell he wanted Bobby to do. Bobby did. You gotta remember, Bobby did College Girl. You gotta remember that. Bobby did anything. Um, what the hell was the song? I don't know. But for my prerogative, I know that one. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby killed the game. Yeah. Okay, but he wasn't in it. He wasn't consistent in the game. Like. Chris Brown and Neo and R. Kelly and so Usher. Tank, what about Tank? I don't know about that. Tank? What about Joe? I don't know about that. I just told you mine. Who are yours? You're number one. R. Kelly. Number two. Chris Brown. Number three. Usher. Okay, so why? R and B, R and B. Okay, so I'm not talking about pop. Okay, so why you ain't say Tank and um Joe and like you asked me? Because Tank and Joe don't have a discography that matches Chris Brown and R. Kelly's. Okay, well then that's why I told you mine. And Usher been rocking this thing for a long time. Usher been rocking since he was little. Since he was like 16. 14. Then he what? got married. I don't know what happened after that. 
He grew a beard. He got crazy. Do we have, you have any hit songs right now? It don't matter. He could chill. Well, let me tell you something. Confessions was probably one oh, of the... Oh, I love that song. Confessions, so was, confessions was probably one of the best albums ever. Best so my confessions. Yo, just you know why he made that song? Because he cheated on Chilla. Did you believe it? Hell yeah, he cheated on her. He know, she know, we all know. So you really believe that happened? What, he cheated? He really was with her and she cheated? Oh, you think it was a marketing scheme? No, he told a story. Do you think it was a marketing scheme for the album? Or do you think it was a real story? I don't know. I ain't good at thinking like that. I mean, I'm just acting. Well, maybe, maybe not, but I think he did cheat. What do you, let me ask you something. He was cute together. When you, when, you look at, when you look at Usher, you know what I'm saying, do you like think of certain... Like, what do you think about Usher? If he got everything, it's perfect. He's a good looking guy. Mm-hmm. And anything, right? He could sing. Mm-hmm. He's successful. Mm-hmm. Do you think like everything about Usher is, is like on point? Or do you think he's like Omarion? <laughs> he need to be circumcised. Or something like that. Oh, I'm so happy you brought that up, circumcision. Mm-hmm. I don't want a man with a turtleneck. Because I don't got time for him to pull that back and then put the condom on. That's too much. Just pull that back. It's a turtleneck. The turtleneck. First of all, they got to make sure they always... Every man should make sure they clean, just like every woman. Mm-hmm. But they got to make sure they're extra clean. because that's Yeah, and because they certain, got certain. extra meat. Yeah. And you got to pull that skin down and make sure you clean all of that. And all, all right, all right, I'm going to ask a question now. now. This this when it gets crazy. Like, if a guy's uncircumcised and they think... I dealt with guys with the head trouble next. You did? Yeah. Did you? That wasn't a nice experience. How, how did... And I had one that had the hook dick. How do, how do women give guys who uncircumcised fellatio? I don't know. I never did that. So you don't skid it back that. and just... I never did that. So the women who did do that? I don't think... Hey, like, we gotta ask them. How do you take it? We how, gotta ask them. We gotta how do you feel about them? How or, do you feel about them? I need to find out how that works. But, but how do you feel about them? What do you, you have a, like some, any judgment on them? About what? Like women who give a guy... Um, I, oh, I, I guy. can't judge nobody. I'm judging. Oh, well, you can judge. I can't judge nobody. I'm judging. I got a whole lot of people might judge me for, but we ain't doing that. I'm judging. Oh, you can judge. No, I know what I'm going to say. What? If a female gives a guy who uncircumcised him, <laughs> it's like, kid, hey, yo, she, she just got to pull the head back. Yo, she she got to pull the skin back. She a nasty broad. Why she got to be nasty? She eat raw meat. Well, what's the difference if it ain't circumcised? If she it might, is circumcised, if she it's still tell me, raw if, meat. If she tell me she don't... It's still raw meat, so how the way you want No, that's a lie. Why? If she don't eat sushi... But she suck a uncircumcised joint, then she's nasty. I don't agree with that. Why? Well, how you can you compare it to? Because a circumcised joint is cured. It's like smoked salmon. That's your theory. That's my theory. What the f- where the fuck you get that from? Because it's not it's it's not hidden. It's not tucked in. It's like yo, if you tuck it, oh, you got the turtleneck on. Yeah. When you when you skid that turtleneck back, and it's but when raw, you pull it back, it's just one big. It's, no, it's, it's just raw. one big dick with just. But it's skin raw. Pulled. But it's raw. It's like. What's pink. the difference? The it's, damn thing. If it's circumcised, it's still raw. You let me know. You let me. No, know. I'm not gonna let you it's, know. We're gonna have a poll because I'm not doing that shit. It's pink and raw. I don't know. I'm, I'm not just, doing that. I'm just. Saying, I don't know about it, but you know, I was circumcised as a baby. You circumcised but, as a baby. I, that's what I did. My son too. He not coming home without that. He had to come home circumcised. We're not doing that. I'm just saying. Now, that's just like now when they get if older. Like, I'm wearing out. How old is your son? 20, 24. If he wasn't circumcised, I would, ask her, I would put nah. his girl in this pole. I would ask her. I would tell her. You I'm wouldn't with... because he was going to be circumcised. Like, I'm wearing He got circumcised when his son got circumcised. Before, wait, was it before he had his son? I don't know the TV. But he did it. I remember that. I remember that too. That was. I know that has been some painful shit. At a, as a grown up, yeah. You can't begin a circle. See the baby, they don't know no better, so it don't yeah, feel man. Yeah, man. You can't get grown man. Yeah, you can't get that circumcised. That was a mother fault, right there. Yeah. Yes. He seems circumcised now. Yeah. I wonder how does it look now. I don't know. It gotta look terrible. What? I don't know. As a grown man getting circumcised, wow, how does that look? We need to Google and see how I look when the grown man. I already know how I look when the baby's over the grown man. Did he be out of commission? I mean, he got to take a leave of absence. Yeah, he got to take a leave of absence from work. That's Which so work? Like a, a baby home? had it. Like with his girl work or oh. like work work. So that's he just don't do like, nothing. He's a producer. He's a rapper, singer. 
Oh, he still can't be. He can't dance. Go sit his ass down in the studio. Make some song. Write some song. He gotta sit on the on one of them donuts. One of them donuts, probably. Who knows? Oh, then put some ice on it. Oh, <laughs> Sleep on a soft mattress. Hey, speaking of mattresses, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. What the hell is Doe's mattress? What is that? I googled that. <laughs> and what did you find? It's a mattress. Is it real? Yeah. But my thing is, it costs. They, it only costs five hundred dollars. They say it's for. Do? They say it's for the culture. What, what culture is that? <laughs> it's for black people. I guess. Or is it black people? Culture? I don't know. So did a black person make it? I don't know. They say it comes to your house in a black duffel bag, though. That's a fucking lie. I'm dead ass. So why would it come? To, why would it come? Wait. So you tell me. Let me it comes, let me it take it. a sip and think about this for a minute. Huh? It folds up. I guess. So it's like one of them. Um, them air mattresses? I guess. No. Hey man, I want to find out what this Doze mattress is all about. So now you're going to have a black Christmas tree in your house and you're going to have a Doze, Doze mattress, mattress. You're going to have a whole lot of uh, infomercials in your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, it's for the culture. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I like that. And I'm going to try it. Too. She said I like that. I'm going to try it too. Let me be the first one to sleep on and tell you how it works. Hey, that's just what I feel. Hey, uh, um,. I know you ain't on politics and all that, but you know, I, I pay attention to politics. Oh, you heavy into that shit. I'm on, C I'm on like CNN the on a regular basis. Man, listen, Michael Cohen, the whole Donald Trumps and all that stuff like that, I like watching it. And it is, I get a kick out of it. It's wow. like the best reality show in the world. Oh, that's and your reality that's show? That's my reality show. You know what I'm saying? That's better than Love and Hip Hop. I watch Love and Hip Hop on Don't Mondays. Do Don't do that. But every day during the week, I watch Michael Cohen. I watch Donald Trump and what his antics are. The clown. I love it. I love it, wow. and then I love to see what he's gonna do next. And yeah, because like he don't know how to smell. He don't know. Yeah. He don't know how to smell smoke. He went smock, smocking, smocking. You can smock yeah. any. You, know. you can smock all you want. <laughs> you the president. How you don't know how to smell smoke? And, and you got, um, you you got. Um, don't you got people? But don't you got people that's supposed to be there to let you know, to prompt you, and let you know. Hey, autocorrect and anything. Yeah, and, you know, even if you ain't got people, autocorrect. You ain't never lie, because you know what? Sometimes I don't know how to spell words, and I make sure I look at it when I type it. You know, it let you know if it's a word is right or not. Hey, let them people see it. Hey, before we go though, because I know we getting to the end. Hey, um, let them people take your hat off. Let them people see you it. Want to yeah, yeah, man, yo, you. We even got that thing crocheted. And... You ain't got. To, how you know if I want everybody to know it was crocheted? Ain't that what they call it, though? Yeah, but I could have said I just got it done. You ain't had to say it was crochet. Nobody asked you to tell me. Oh. Why don't you take your hat on and show the people how I cut your hair? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm just saying I felt like that was... I thought being crochet... I did crochet, that. I thought being crochet was a thing. It I is. Like, I like it. It's easier and it's dope. quicker. Because you know why? I ain't, I ain't had to sit there for eight hours. Yeah, we're beats.